What is up, guys? It is Russ here, PokeRuss here. We are back, back for another DBZ profile on the channel. If you guys are hyped for this episode, hit that like and subscribe button, and let us get into it. We got this new deck that I'm surprised I haven't done on this channel yet. We got a Broly deck. Broly is a fun card, probably not tier 1, but probably tier, like, I don't know. It's fun. It's probably the, one of the funnest, if you like fun decks, probably one of the finest decks in the format. It can be good, I'm not gonna lie. And when it's devastating, it's devastating, just like Broly. Uh, but most of, like most of his movies, he's kind of underwhelming. But like, let's we'll, we'll show you the best. We'll show you the best this deck can do. So this card cannot attack battle cards. So he can he himself cannot control. Uh, when this card attacks, both players uh, take put, we'll choose one card from their hand and put it in the drop zone. And you have four less life. Awaken this card. And what's he awaken into? Legend. I hope you're not lactose intolerant, because here it comes. Legendary Super Saiyan Broly. Look at that. Looks pretty. Now, when he attacks, same thing. He can't attack battle cards, but when he attacks, uh, you guys, you draw a card, and then both players discard a card, and both players choose a card in their battle zone and send it to the discard pile. So, 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 so huge control. It devastates your opponent's board whenever you play it. It's 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 absolutely crazy as a leader. So, being able to destroy uh, destroy a monk creature on field per turn and a card in hand, you're going to be controlling even without being able to attack creatures. So, this is this is the card right here. Three Broly's Ring. Broly's Ring says, when you play it, it stays on field. It's a permanent. It stays on field. You do not, or you, your hand is not affected by the effects of your leader Broly. So, you don't discard any of the cards as long as this is on, on field. Um, fun ruling, um, if this is the only card you have in play and you have it awakened, um, you do have to destroy this card as one of your battlefield cards. So, that kind of sucks, but... Um, other than that, you're not affected by hand. So your opponent's just losing a card per hand whenever he attacks. He, Broly is attacking leaders, so they are getting a card back whenever they, whenever it successfully goes through. So it's kind of, kind of there, there, but you're still losing cards, which is important. You're, you're giving them less options of things they can do. Now to get that Broly's card, Broly's ring, because you need it. You need it. You have four Paragus. So this essentially Paragus searches for one Broly's card. Uh, you may place one card from your hand to your drop area if you do play and activate one Broly's card. So you essentially have seven Broly's rings in deck that you can mull for on your first turn. This is huge. That's why, you, that's why we don't play through four of these, because four of these is a dead drop. Three of these is pretty, pretty necessary. So you play, play Paragus to activate that a little bit earlier. So next, what we have is the Majin Buu. Majin Buu is your standard. This is a blue-green deck. I don't know if I mentioned that before, but it's a blue-green deck. So we have four Majin Buu's. Because blue-green, I think, is the best to optimize Broly. So we have four Majin Buu's. He just, he's just a draw drop, because if, you, if you're attacking the first turn before you get Broly's ring out, or say you don't get the most optimal hand, this, this kind of replenishes your hand. Um, you have four Broly, Dawn of Revenge, Rampage, sorry, Dawn of Rampage. He searches the top seven cards for one green Broly card, adds to your hand, and then shuffle your deck. Pretty excited. Like, I, I love these turn one drops, look at seven, draw one. Uh, they're just absolutely beautiful. You have your turn two. This is where the Broly engine starts to get going. It, you have three overflowing Bio Warrior Army. These are your, like your vanilla turn twos. Um, if they are sent to your drop area from your battle zone, and if your leader is Broly, you may discard a card from your hand, and if you do, put this card back into play. So he just kind of keeps getting reborn. Uh, if you don't have, or he, you just kind of keep ditching him with this, and then you kind of keep getting it back, which is really nice. You still have to pay the card from hand, so if you have this combo on the field, you, the Broly's Ring's almost negated, but you're not discarding two because of Broly's Ring, I guess. I guess that's the way to look at it, and I think it's still really good, I think. But I don't think since you can re keep reborning these, you don't need more than three. Next, I have three Assailant Vegeta's in the deck. This is so you can crit. Um, I have a couple blue crit cards because I think they're the most important for this variant. Because when you're critting, you're not taking, you're not giving them life to hand. Therefore, they're going to have less hand, and that's going to come into play a little bit later when we get to the end game. Next, we have two of the Overflowing Spirits, Super Saiyan Son Goku. He has critical and permanent. If during your turn you have five or more mana or energy, this card gains plus ten thousand. Another critical card, huge for not letting your opponent have uh, the cards they need in hand. Next, we have, for turn 4, we have Furious Yell Vegeta. Furious Yell Vegeta is your standard double break turn 4 
uh, beauty, then he has that effect that once per turn you can place one of your life in your draw area, choose one of your opponent's uh, battle cards, and KO it. So this can get rid of anything on board, anything that's threatening you, anything that's like too big, too, too big for you to handle, and it also burns your life a little bit so you can awaken that much faster. I believe any kind of green, any deck with green, or any any deck I think should have be able to self burn itself just a little bit because a good player will kind of keep you out of that distance from awakening as long as possible to get you into uh, for them to be in a more advantageous position. The longer you can hold your opponent off from awakening, the better you are in position. Next we have the Go Tanks engine. This is actually huge in this deck. Because when this card attacks a leader card, choose one card in your opponent's hand and place it in the drop area, that's huge. That's absolutely phenomenally huge. More discarding. You want to discard with this deck as much as physically possible. The more stuff they waste, because they're, they're the one they're not going to have stuff to handle your big guys. Because that's that's where the combo oriented stuff get, gets in if you're, if you're discarding. Uh, also, again, we're going to get to these, these effects in the later part of the deck, that if they don't have cards in hand, they're completely bone. Completely bone. Okay. Okay, so, if you're going to have the small goat tanks, you might as well have the bigger of the two. You have little goat, or big goat tanks here, whoops, sorry for the shakiness. You have big go tanks here who's going to draw you card and untap your mana so you can do more in turn. This isn't really necessary too, too much, but I think it's a good addition, especially if you're running the little go tanks in the deck. So, next we have the Bio Life Form Rampaging, or Rampaging Life Form Bio Brawly. Move these cards over here, whoops. We have three Rampaging Life Bio Brawly. And we're having a little bit of glitch in my camera. I apologize for that. But, um, he's he's one of your big guys. When he evolves off of a Brawly, your opponent chooses two cards from their hand and places them in the drop area. That is absolutely huge. That's what destroys your opponent's hand for the next upcoming card. Like, this is amazing. Uh, he also has double strikes, so that's pretty neat. Um, all of these cards are balanced out by having, like, double strikes, stuff like that. But, this is what Rampaging by a Brawly does. Next, we have the big, bad... Rampaging, the Rampaging Horror Brawly, and I've won all dark because I'm absolutely in love with this. I uh, happen to pull it, if you guys haven't seen that episode, go ahead and check it out, but when this, when you play this card, choose up to two cards in your opponent's hand at random and place them in drop area. so kind of like the other one, but both are huge. This is a, this is a double breaker through 30,000, it's absolutely huge, and it drops extra cards from a hand. That's all leading up. Like, this is a Brawly deck, but the, the big boss card isn't even Brawly. Isn't Brawly. The big boss monster of this deck is actually Beerus. Beerus is your big boss bet, baby daddy thing. So, when he comes into play, uh, when this card attacks a leader, your opponent may choose up the two cards in their hand and place them in the drop zone. If they don't, if they don't, uh, choose all of your opponent's battle cards and energy placed in the drop area. So it destroys everything. So the goal is to get your opponent to zero life. Or to, to one or zero cards in hand. I'm sorry. To, to get to zero life. But you, to one or zero cards in hand and then boom. Boom, boom, boom. Blow everything up. They have no way to respond. They're going to be starting back at one. And like there's no way they can compete at that point. Uh, you run your standard negates. One, two... Three, four full power negates, blows up a little guy, blows up a little guy, and negates an attack. Don't have to say too, too much about that. You run one, two, three, four of the trunks. This is your green guy, this is your, your four, four or less life, draw one card, gain plus 10,000. Standard green card, uh, I actually love it because it's trunks. I'm glad this the green one's trunks. I wish it was future trunks, but we're going to be getting a lot of future trunks next set. And the last two cards is the two Sun Gotens. This card, or when it attacks, when you combo with this card on, or yeah, when you co when you combo with this card, choose one of your opponent's battle cards with three or less cost of code. So you blow up, you're blowing up extra things with this. So whenever uh, you're blowing stuff up with the, your leader Brawly, they're, they're, you're blowing up a bunch of things in one turn, and it's absolutely insane. I guys, guys, I hope you like this Brawly deck. It's been a little while to coming. I don't know why I haven't brought it to the channel before this, but. This is the Brawly deck. If you guys have any changes you think you would make to the deck, I know it's running a little bit less blue, but you really don't need to ha hit the blue till end game. The boos are a little bit of an anomaly. They draw you, that's why I have them in, but you're probably not going to actually pay them early. 
Um, I hope you guys like this deck. Hit that like and subscribe button if you want to see more deck profiles. I hit, well, I do one per week, and I will see you guys next week for another deck profile. See you then. Have a great day. Poke your brass out. Peace.